Styrene butadiene or styrene butadiene rubber describe families of synthetic rubbers derived from styrene and butadiene. These materials have good abrasion resistance and good aging stability when protected by additives. In 2012, more than 5.4 million tons of SBO were processed worldwide. About 50% of car tires are made from various types of SBR. The styrene butadiene ratio influences the properties of the polymer, with high styrene content, the rubbers are harder and less rubbery. SBR is not to be confused with the thermoplastic elastomer made from the same monomers, styrene butadiene block copolymer. Types of SBR SBR is derived from two monomers, styrene and butadiene. The mixture of these two monomers is polymerized by two processes, from solution or as an emulsion. Emulsion polymerization ESBR produced by emulsion polymerization is initiated by free radicals. Reaction vessels are typically charged with a two monomers, a free radical generator, and a chain transfer agent such as an orchal mercaptan. Radical initiators include potassium persulfate and hydroperoxides in combination with ferrous salts. Emulsifying agents include various soaps. By capping the growing organic radicals, mercaptans, control the molecular weight, and hence the viscosity, of the product. ESBR is more widely used. Typically, polymerizations are allowed to proceed only to circa 70%, a method called short stopping. In this way, various additives can be removed from the polymer. Solution polymerization Solution SBR is produced by an anionic polymerization process. Polymerization is initiated by orchal lithium compounds. Water is strictly excluded. The process is homogeneous, which provides greater control over the process allowing tailoring of the polymer. The organolithium compound adds to one of the monomers, generating a carbanion that then adds to another monomer, and so on. Relative to ESBR, SSBR is increasingly favored because it offers improved wet grip and rolling resistance, which translate to greater safety and better fuel economy, respectively. Bunner S, the material was initially marketed with the brand name Bunner S. Its name derives B for butadiene and now for sodium, and S for styrene. Properties, applications, the elastomer is used widely in pneumatic tires, shoe heels and soles, gaskets and even chewing gum. It is a commodity material which competes with natural rubber. Latex SBR is extensively used in coated papers, being one of the cheapest resins to bind pigmented coatings. It is also used in building applications as a sealing and binding agent behind renders as an alternative to PVA, but is more expensive. In the latter application, it offers better durability, reduced shrinkage and increased flexibility, as well as being resistant to emulsification in damp conditions. SBR can be used to tank damp rooms or surfaces, a process in which the rubber is painted onto the entire surface forming a continuous, seamless damp roof liner. A typical example would be a basement. It is also used by speaker driver manufacturers as the material for low damping rubber surrounds. Additionally, it is used in some rubber cutting boards. History, SBR is a replacement for natural rubber. It was originally developed prior to World War II in Germany by chemist Walter Bock. Industrial manufacture began during World War II and was used extensively by the U.S. synthetic rubber program to produce government rubber styrene. To replace the Southeast Asian supply of natural rubber which, under Japanese occupation, was unavailable to allied nations. See also, elastomer, ozone cracking, tire, synthetic rubber, references.